Okay, here we are today with uh, Dan, and uh, we're at the uh, Richmond Expo. Dan's got some incredible work. You can see uh, this this black beauty, this horse manifested um, on the plane. And remember, for the chess players, uh, the horse is the only piece that offers depth. And we were talking to um, Hillary Clinton's associate yesterday at the VA about that, and the code we're manifesting there for the night. So the symbolism is really there. Uh, Dan also has uh, a dragonfly piercing down from above in the American Eagle, one of the most uh, symbolic directional points uh, that we have with the beak manifesting, uh, things like that. So, Dan, what, what, what kind of, uh, what, what kind of um, material do you use and what do people say about your work? Well, I use uh, bronze uh, as, as my mainstay is the bronze, and uh, what I've recently uh, gone to is some steel. Uh, the cost of bronze is not affordable by most people, so I'm trying to come up with some uh, products that uh, are more affordable. So, for example, this eagle in bronze um, is $29,000, but the eagle in steel and aluminum is $4,500, so there's quite a savings. And what I do is I make the head of the eagle and the tail of the eagle out of aluminum. And then this is made out of cold rolled steel. So even as this ages over the next 50 years, there will always be a contrast between the feathers uh, on the wings and the head of the eagle and the tail of the eagle, which will always make it look like a, a bald eagle. And this is a seven foot wingspan female, which is a, a, a wingspan for the female. The female is larger than the male eagle. Oh, I see. So that, that's the gender differential? Yes, yes. So Dan, can I ask you a question? Um, you know, it's, in, it's, it's important, the symbolism of how you're dressed um, in terms of the various axes and the nadirs and things like that. But Dan, there's a few things going on in technology today, such as 3D printing with all these computers and stuff like that. Um, is that something that you might think could help you in your work? And, and the other question, before I turn it back over to you is, I notice a lot of people like at the Renaissance Fair uh, uh, that they would scent uh, flowers that are made of uh, copper and metals. And you can always go back and kind of refresh that extra sense of the scent with the piece. Something that maybe you'd consider checking into? That's actually a good idea. I haven't uh, investigated that, but that is a great idea. And uh, I'm a retired engineer. So as far as the technology, um, I do figure out all the angles uh, of these uh, uh, animals that I do. It, as a matter of fact, inside this wing structure is actually the skeletal structure of the eagle. So as I'm building this eagle up, I can bend this skeletal structure into any attitude that you would want this eagle to take. For example, one of the sculptures I'm working on right now is the mating ritual that eagles go through. The female and the male go up to a high altitude. The male will lock claws, I mean the female will lock claws with the male to test his strength and then they will fall through the air. Now if that strength is adequate, then the female will mate with that male. And that's the next uh, sculpture that I'm going to do with this. And the way I can do that is with the skeletal structure that I've got incorporated, engineered into this, that I can bend these wings into different attitudes. That, that, is, that is absolutely fascinating. Say, how do you pronounce your last name? Masopust. Masopust. So, you know, it, it almost sounds like one day you're going to make an octopus to <laughs> contain all of these various... Uh, animals or griffins if you will these oh i don't know let's say if you're a temple which you are and this would uh, something protecting you this dragon gargoyle protecting the temple of man well actually the dragonfly is actually gone so there is uh, uh, hitting, hitting a gong is good luck and a dragonfly is good luck So, so you're, you're, you're telling me in a different language that uh, the birth or the Big Bang was from a, a walk of a black cow? <laughs> I don't know if that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> well, do we have a cow here? No, uh, with I, the I milk? got a cow in design, but he's a crazy cow. So it's kind of like my good dog. I, I do have some more whimsical uh, sculptures too. 
uh, you know, like the crazy dog, and then the uh, the lucky horseshoe crabs. Now these oh. are kind of typical things. May, may I? Know. May I? Oh, sure. Now, now this is is in a sense a tool. You can see uh, from the reflection um, a crab uh, steaming in a sense from another uh, language where a rack uh, occurs. Now, the reason I'm saying that uh, is because, again, let's say if Dan is the nadir point below grounding us, well, the rack becomes a crown, okay? A crown um, upon uh, the arc, all right? And that goes to various uh, angles that I speak with, uh, let's say, and rice about in regards to uh, the crack in the corner. So, well, good luck. Good, good luck on your work. It's, our, it's a pleasure. Uh, well, you, you mentioned the angles. I just want to show you something real quick with the snapper please. shell. Okay. Uh, if you notice the snapper shell, and you mentioned technology, is all these angles on the snapper shell I, I figured out on AutoCAD because there's so many different planes happening there it became a real complicated uh, sculpture to make, and it is actually done with the shell. So, uh, well, isn't the, the turtle one of the Native American Indian uh, symbols or glyphs? I don't know. You would probably know that more than I. I, I don't know. No, I, and, and you know, just not to, not to pester you, sir, but I, I heard a rumor uh, from a steward that told me you were making something uh, involving the the West and the East and the Native American Indian totisms, uh, some kind of uh, sphere uh, with rings on it, where we, uh, I guess, the West and the East had the the bull, the the lion heart, um, and then the East had the dragon and the bear or whatever they got, and then the. The, the Native American uh, people, um, you know, had the wolf and, and whatnot. How can that all tie together into something that makes sense? Well, I think uh, the whole thing that makes sense is uh, just rising above uh, um, things that happen in our life. In fact, I'm actually, one of the reasons for these eagles is I'm doing a structural analysis of them uh, because I've got a sculpture I'm designing that's over three stories tall and it's called Rise Above and uh, there is a, um, a nest that is made from pieces of the World Trade Center and of the Pentagon and then an eagle is pulling the American flag up out of this nest and every year the eagle rebuilds his nest it becomes stronger and stronger and these exceed 2,000 pounds in weight eventually. And that is what these, uh, the symbolism of this is that we're building this nest in our life and everything that's happening to us is becoming, making us stronger and stronger, but we still need to rise above it. I, I've heard that. I've heard the term in, in nesting cluster on top of a pine uh, tree assembly, you know, the evergreen. And and, uh, and other types of, of, of things of that nature, you know, the nest, mm -hmm. you know, that, that makes sense. And, and speaking of the sense and the money, um, it, it really seems like you've honed in uh, uh, on a certain portion of the limbs of the body um, where that angle you spoke of earlier, Dan, um, w was more of a, I suppose, a right angle or if, you know, time per yesterday it could be a left angle, something mnemonically associated that way. Mm -hmm. You know. Sure. Yeah, you're someone I, I could I could talk to. Yeah. Well, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Anytime hey, you want. Thank you. You got my card. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.